is apparent that K-pop is blooming faster than ever with the rise of fourth generation groups. Together with experiments in new music, fashion, online interaction with fans, etc. Along with developments, however, there are commonly seen details that tend to bore or even annoy the general audience of K-pop. Most of them tend to come from the media, fandoms, or stereotypes, rather than idols' true wish, which effectively hampers the charm that should have been more than enough of K-pop idols. Number 1. Lookalikes that do not look alike In order to highlight the gorgeous visuals of their idols, fans often love to point out similar traits between their biases and other idols mostly Sunbae memes who are more famed in the K-pop scene. However, this is sometimes taken too far, to the point that non-fans or even other fans of the same idols fail to see any similarities between the two. One example is Kepler's Chaehyun in Red Velvet's Irene. Ever since her appearance on Girls Planet 999, Chaehyun has been said to look like Irene by lots of fans. Some believe that, as Chaehyun used to be an SM trainee, she has the same visual vibe as the main visual of Red Velvet. After her debut as the center of Coupler, more articles on Shaekyun's resemblances with Irene have been published. Fans even put together the white beret pictures of both idols for comparison. However, even from such a similar angle, Shaekyun and Irene's eyebrows, eyes, noses, and mouth shapes differ radically. Besides, while Shaekyun exudes a down-to-earth and adorable vibe, Irene gives off an apparent air of an ice queen. The similarity here might just be their beret and hairstyle. Another example would be the Little Susie trend. As Miss A's Bay Susie rose to fame thanks to her clear and innocent look, many other female idols have been compared to her in terms of visuals. One of the victims of such comparisons is Diaz Cheyon, who has always been dubbed as Little Susie. However, according to many people, Cheyon's look has nothing to do with Susie's. While Susie has a typical V-line jaw, Cheyon possesses a rare L-line one. With her pronounced and sharp jawline, Cheyon looks totally different from Suzy at any angle. The two idols' mouth shapes and eyes are also not exactly similar. Fans of both Cheyon and especially Suzy do not seem so happy with the comparison either. They said that calling Cheyon little Suzy is absurd and ridiculous, because the two don't have that big of an age gap. Plus, these comparison things will only backfire in Cheyon. Number 2. Underage idols forced to act like mature girls. It is nothing strange to see K-pop idols debut from a young age. Some at just 14 or 15 years old. The problem is, such teenage idols do not always get the concepts or images suitable for their ages. In fact, most of these idols are often forced into mature styles and poses, in an effort to enhance their sexy look or charismatic stage presence. That, however, often backfires and draws more hatred towards young idols especially female ones. A notable example is Ives Jang Wonyoung. This name is no longer alien to K-pop fans, as Wonyoung has gained considerable attention since her appearance in Produce 48 for her clear and innocent visuals. However, after debuting, Wonyoung is believed to change her naive style into a more seductive and exotic one. Though at that time, she's not yet to be 16. Specifically, Wonyoung was seen several times doing provocative choreography and extremely short and revealing outfits. Although this is definitely the management company's strategy to make money quickly and it's not Won Young's fault, the poor teenage girl is still the target of criticism and the victim of some inappropriate keywords on Google. Another example is Yuna from ITZY. She is now often recognized for her perfect body proportion, which shouldn't be a topic to talk about an underage girl. However, hundreds of photos showing Yuna's body curves are still all over the internet and people are constantly crying and screaming over them. That sounds kind of disturbing. Not only that, Yuna was also said to look too old for her age. Like she's 18 but looks 28. Even Yuna herself once admitted that she really looks older than her age, and revealed that some people assumed she'd graduated from high school. Number 3. Excessive Winking In order to add some spice into stage presence, many idols have tried winking during performance to catch the eyes of the audience. In particular, 101's former member Park Ji-hoon even got instant fame right after his One Wink Wonder in the first stage of Produce 101 Season 2. After the hit of Ji-hoon's wink, several girls in Produce 48 also tried the fairy wink during their first stage in the show. Mostly, winks are supposed to look cute and flirty towards fans. However, some idols, especially rookies, overdid this trick so much that it tends to get boring. There are plenty of examples, 
namely Coupler's Bahia. Just in one stage, fans can notice Bahia winking from time to time with quite rigid expressions. She is also compared to Ives Won Young, who was also bashed for excessive winking in every performance. Won Young even once showed off her talent of blinking continuously for one minute, making netizens feel scared rather than cute. Some even wondered if Won Young had problems with her eye muscles or something, because her eyes just kept twitching. Apparently, winking may be a cuteness weapon, but overusing it seems not really fine because that sometimes makes the audience feel tired and awkward. Number 4. Hatred against idols of foreign nationalities Though some may say, let politics stay away from K-pop, it seems that many more K-netizens believe the contrary. Following the tension between the nations, as well as the anti-China, anti-Japan waves in Korea, some K-pop idols have been bashed for showing support for their home countries. A recent example is the big hate surrounding Espa's Ning Ning after she posted support for Chinese athletes in the Winter Olympics Beijing 2022. In her messages to fans on Bubble, Ning Ning congratulated Chinese athletes on winning gold medals and expressed her appreciation for every athlete. Being revealed amidst the cheating controversy surrounding China's gold medal in short track speed skater, Ning Ning's message fanned the fire already burning among K netizens. Their anger all boiled down to Ning Ning's nationality, Chinese, triggering the tension between the two countries on several issues. However, as fans pointed out, Ning Ning sent the congratulation message two days before the cheating controversy broke out. Besides, as Bubble is a paid platform, it is not even legal to leak content from this platform. Nonetheless, Ning Ning still got massive hatred after this so-called scandal. She was bashed just for texting I miss you and goodnight in Chinese. Many expressed their wish for Ning Ning to leave the group and go back to China. In other cases, many other foreign idols in K-pop have been bashed simply out of racism. A notable example can be Lisa. Despite her fame and great influence, Lisa got bashed just for being Thai, because some toxic K-netizens just don't like Southeast Asian people. Things were so tense to the point Lisa even got death threats online. Needless to say, such hatred is outright unreasonable. So these are the four most annoying things in K-pop collected by us based on netizens' complaints. What do you think should make it to the list as well? Please let us know in the comment section. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Be Boss TV for more interesting K-pop content. Thank you for watching.